Hello, everybody. My name is Phil Thornton. I'm one of the hosts of Shoot to Kill, a podcast for photographers. If you haven't checked us out, please do so at shoottokillpodcast.com. Okay, so today we're going to talk about something that is uh, very aggravating sometimes. Have, have you ever wondered, hey, are there people out there ripping off my beautiful images and using them online unbeknownst to me? Well, probably so. And uh, that's still fun, right? So here's a way you can kind of see and do some exploring and see if anybody's doing that. And uh, the first thing you're going to need is Google Chrome, which is a free browser from Google. You can download that at, let's see, skipping ahead here. Let's go to Google, um, chrome.google.com and download that browser. Just click download now. Now, once you've installed that and you're running Chrome, from within Chrome, I want you to do do the same. Go to chrome.google.com, but this time slash web store, okay? This will take you to the... Oh, sorry, my phone went off. How rude. Okay, so where was I? Yes, sorry, web store. Once you're here, this will show you all of the cool extensions for Google Chrome browser, all right? Don't get distracted by Angry Birds. You've got work to do. An extension, if you're wondering, it's nothing more than like a plugin or an add-on for the browser. So once you're here, go up to the search bar and type in Google Image Search. Spell it correctly. And the first result you should see is Search by Image by Google. And click Add to Chrome. Yours will be blue. If you haven't installed it already, it'll be blue Add to Chrome button. Click on it. Make sure you're installing the one that's by Google. Okay, it'll say by Google here and it'll have a G right here. So once you've installed that extension, then I want you to go to the front page for images search, which is just images.google.com. Okay, now this will look different. You'll see this blue little camera icon, which is awesome. Okay, how do you use this, you might ask? Well, normally you'd have to type in words like wedding cake okay well now you can use images for instance let's go to our blog at mindyandphil.com and i'm going to take this old post from 2008 okay this is an old image that i know and i'm using this because i know it's on the internet it's been out there for a while um, and i want to show you how this kind of works so i just drag it over here to my desktop okay now once i've done that I can go back to the images.google.com search page and check this out. Wow, look at that. Drop image here. Why should I? I don't know. Let's do it and find out. Did you see that? It actually did a search based on that image. That's crazy. And look at the results. It shows me the image size, which I didn't really care about. I already do that. And this is the creepy part best guess for this image is it wedding flowers well it, it is that's crazy how did you know that because you're alive google i know you are okay so it'll show you some results based on wedding flowers which i don't really care about i do not care about the knots wedding flower page and i do not care about whatever flower explosion is even though that's a really clever url what i do care about are, are these results down here pages that include matching images okay so now i can see everywhere that Google knows about that's using that image or something like it. For instance, the first one, someone named Amanda Jerkins is using my image. Well, I knew that because that's actually the bride in the picture, so no surprise there. She's a florist. I totally know she's using it, no big deal. Mindyandphil.com, that's the next result. Well, that's our blog, so I knew that was there as well. But look at this one. Here's a blog post on Weddings Unveiled. Let's scroll down. Look, they're using the image. I didn't know about that before I did this, so it's cool. I found out uh, someone's using it. And the cool part is they gave us an attribution link. They actually linked to Fendi Studio, so that was nice of them. So I'm not upset with them. Let's keep looking. Let's go to the second page. Oh, here's one that I did not know about. Elegantwoman.org on being absolutely lovely. Wow. Check out this website and check out this website stealing from me. Here's the image. The one above it is also an image from that same wedding that we shot. And here's another one below it. Same wedding. 
and the unfun part. They did not link to us at all anywhere. Hmm. They, they even have a list of their favorite wedding blogs and they did not include us, even though they ripped off four of our images. Um, okay, so no big deal. It's 2012. What can you expect, right? And one more just to have fun. Look at this one. This one cracked me up. Yeah. Don't know what language that is. Oh, actually, Google is telling me it is Arabic. Let's translate it and see what it says. Bitumenia still in continuous progress and innovation is increasingly... I still don't understand what this says, even though it's in English. Okay, look at that. Boom. Look at that beautiful, beautiful thievery. So they not only took our image, they took the one that's got our logo in it. If you can see in the background here, you can see the Fendi Studios logo. So this image, I think, was a header image or something before, and they just decided to use it for their marketing. Awesome. I don't know what this is superimposed. Some word, if you speak Arabic or can read it, please tell me what this says. That would make me, make me happy to know. Also, there's a little logo they put in here. And might as well click on it and see where it takes us just because that'll be fun, right? Okay, it looks like this person does weddings. They like do design or decorations or something. There are a ton of images of, um, looks like maybe receptions that they've designed. So really honestly don't really care. I'm just going to close that. Moving on. Anyway, that's a cool way that you can use Google image search to see if anybody is ripping you off and uh, kind of keep some keep track of some of your images online. Hopefully this has helped you figure something new out today. And if there's anything else that you'd like to know that maybe I can help with, I'd love to do a screencast for you. Just shoot me an email at feedback at shoot to kill podcast.com. And I will try to do that again. My name is Phil Thornton with shoot to kill. Thanks for listening.